welcome to another Zendikar Rising quick draft. So uh, I've this is my third uh, attempt. So far I've gone zero three and one three. Uh, so uh, I I think it's definitely a challenging uh, draft. There's a lot of different uh, things going on. So I've read I've uh, I've read another draft guide just to. Uh, yeah, get uh, someone else's opinion uh, of what to do. So I'm look, I've looked at um, cardkingdom.com and I've looked at their Zendikar Rising draft guide. So that's written by Tom Anderson. He has a uh, he has a set of five commandments at the end. Uh, he says pivot into the rares. So he's suggesting the rares. This is like a prince set where the rares are much more powerful than the uh, commons and uncommons. Uh, don't play more than two colours, which I'd agree with because there aren't. I don't think there's any colourless uh, mana fixing. Uh, yeah, this, I'm just checking to see if there's a uh, evolving wilds in this set, but apparently not. You've got to, if you if you're playing green, uh, you've got mana fixing up there. You can potentially uh, maybe fit in some uh, bombs from other colours. Uh, commandment number three: hold the creature and removal count sacred. Uh, you can lose a ton of games by getting kept off the board after a slow start. That is definitely my experience after going one and six. Um, several slow starts and I never managed to get back into the games uh, he says it's harder to keep your creatures alive than to just play 17 plus of them so I think solid advice to keep it simple just play 17 creatures or more uh, visualize your spell lands in action spell lands should be exchanged for basics at something less than a one to one ratio so you imagine the spell side and consider how likely you are to want to s that side in a match. If it's a great bit of removal, you'll always want to cut, hold it and cast, so you can't play it in a land slot. So that's the reasonable advice. Um, I think I had the white removal land spell in the last draft. And uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember if I went 17 or 18 lands, but I think, no, I think I probably went 17 lands because I had a couple of the falcons that let you bounce a land back, so I, I rationalised it, thinking if I have to play that removal as a land, I can always bounce it back later. Uh, and, he's, and the fifth commandment, your victory is in the skies, not the next card down. Uh, this uh, improves the quality of the average draw, making it harder to overwhelm people with grindy value-based decks, or to push lethal damage through a board store. Only a few colours even have large flyers, so if you can stick one to the board, it will always become a must-remove threat. Okay, so, yeah, flying and evasion are big in this set. Fair enough. Yeah, so, um... Yeah, I think my takeaway from the first two drafts, I definitely want to play, keep my creature count high play probably play at least 16 creatures and have a decent curve um, my last deck was was better had a decent curve had quite a few two and three drops I ended up losing against big creatures that's I thought that would be my weak point will be big creatures and that proved to be the case anyway let's uh, let's get this one started just make sure everything's working yeah good And just, but yeah, for the first five picks, always just to remind myself, I always try and pick the best card in the sl in the uh, pack. It's definitely not thrown at McKindy. I'm also building my uh, my collection, so I am just rare drafting. Even though this card is pretty terrible, I've actually used it in my first deck with a with a kicker deck. So. Um, I guess at least it, it doesn't come into play tapped, so that's, that's something for it. Um, 
But yeah, uh, put it, the ceiling for this card is going to make one of your kicker spells one mana cheaper. But it takes a turn tapping it to put a charge counter on it, and then before you can even use that. So I think uh, I am. However, I am picking that card because I'm. I'm an incorrigible rare drafter. There we go. Okay, what ha what do we have here? Another rare myriad construct. Oh, that has kicker. Interesting. If it's kicked, it gets a plus one plus one counter for each non-basic. Uh, my opponent's control. And um, when it becomes the target, it sort of shatters and becomes lots of 1-1 one, one creatures. That's quite interesting. Mm. Still, it's basically a 4-4 four, for four, 4, which seems alright. And it's got kicker. Right. Now, Umara Mystic... Definitely a good card. In Red Wizard, somebody, somebody's beaten me with this card. So, uh, yeah, one three flying, and it pumps up with wizard spells, instants, and sorceries. So, good chance that's the best card here. Right, black or red. Uh, it can give something menace. So, a power bonus based on the number of uh, party creatures you have. Okay. Just seems okay, I would say. Nope. Right. Risen Riptide. So, I wouldn't have thought that this was a good card. Apparently, this is great got because there's a l enough things with kicker that this makes a lot of sense zero five is just five toughness creatures are just tough to kill really uh, spell shield this is actually not bad at all it's a very cheap kicker if you need to so it's good fuel for your Risen Riptides and things like that. Your, your kicker payoffs. Right, yeah, this isn't bad. 2-1 Flash Flying. the black combat trick. I've not actually seen anyone use it yet, but it seems good. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I've tried I've tried using scale the heights before. Right, so I think it's between Sky Dancer. Probably the Risen Riptide. And the Umara Mystic. I think I don't have to, even though I've got kind of two things that are related to kickers, I'm not, I don't want that to sway my decision I don't, uh, and go for the Riptide. Uh, I think it's it's early enough we can go for... We can still go for the best card, which I, th I think it's Umara Mystic. I think it's a good build around kind of card. I have been thinking the Wizard's deck looks quite strong as well. A good chance to actually build the wizard's deck. See a lot 
lot of white cards here. So Canyon Jaboa. Not bad at all. So this is the there is uh Mon Fix Skin Black, this is it. <laughs> but it does uh it is a cantrip. Okay, so we start to look at in, we've got to look at in, instants and sorceries in a different light. Deliberate is a bit stronger than it looks. So that's the rogue. Yeah, that's a wizard. Potentially, he's uh, you're dropping a land you don't need, so you can get some card advantage later. But so the thing that's missing from this lot, I don't think there are any kicker cards at all. Uh, the card I'd like to pick is Deliberate. I think Canyon Jabo is probably the best card here. So I think we'll take the Canyon Jabo from now. And what we hope is something good, something relevant will wheel around. If we're going for the Wizard's deck, maybe Deliberate or Fisher Wizard. So that's a four point drain life. Yep, that gets two creatures back. Okay, yeah, this now this is a quite a key wizard card. Gives you a bunch of mana potentially. Relic Amulet. So this is the perfect card for the wizard deck. We better look at uh, what else is available just in case. Yeah, it's got to be Relic Amulet, I think. That's very, very lucky that turned up. So I think uh, we've uh, I've made my decision here. Um, it's going to be blue-red wizards because we've got three key uh, cards for the deck. I'll probably just drop Canyon Burr because we just go we're just going for two colours. There's no harm going for a myriad construct. We'll keep Throne of McKinney in the deck. We'll, we'll decide whether we uh, whether whether we need to play it or not later. So the the best card for the deck. Well, I mean there is a utility knife we could use, but uh, Tormenting Voice seems like the relevant one we go for because it's, it's a sorcery. Not 
giving us a lot. Norman Colony's a really good card. I think we can, yeah, we can go Seagate Colossus. Nice big creature. Um, we'll see how we can do with the party mechanic, because we do have Ardent Electromancer as a party payoff. Okay, I seem to remember this pack coming back. Another Fisher Wizard. Molten Blast. Okay, that's just a two damage spell. Solid. It only costs three mana, so. Uh, also, destroy target artifact. Very useful when there are Seagate Colossi coming around. Okay, Risen Reptide is back. Or the Spitfire Legac. 3 4 is, is usually a pretty decent creature. Um. I, th I say we pick the Riptide and just see whether we get any kickbacks. Ah, oh, good, yeah, De uh, Deliberate is back. I think I'll pick that over the Warrior. Okay, I guess we get one of these anyway. And we get one of those anyway, so. That's that's quite nice. It sort of hopefully we'll pick up some party cards in late picks. Oh my goodness! Well, we've just got Scoot Swarm. So this is a this is an S grade card uh, for gr in green. So I wonder if we can uh, splash for it. We've got to take it, even though there's roll eruption. So that's pretty nice, isn't it? Uh, look at the top six. We can grab an instant or sorcery. Hmm. Hmm, it might work. It might whiff completely. Wizard here. Yeah, that's good. That, that's just outright fantastic. So I don't think we're pivoting into green. I'll take this out for now, but it's, uh, it's a possibility. That's pretty nice, isn't it? You get uh, that makes tokens. Oh, another instant spell. Okay, that's a cleric. Quite a cheap cleric. That is another cunning gaze and mage. Uh, which we've decided is fantastic. So we just take that. Yeah, that's a really good one. Uh, another cunning gazer mage. Is it 
good enough to take three of them. Is it better than into the royal? No, I think I'd, uh, I'd rather have a permanent. Okay. Three, three wizard. Now, glacial grass. I'm pretty interested in. isn't it getting haste on all your creatures and we've got this uh, the gargoyle here two three flying defender with, with kicker I'd say um, it's looking like we're not going for kicker spells just drop Risen Riptide for now. Maybe Throne of McKindy. Yeah, I quite like things like Glacial Grass. Looks pretty good to me. But we do have quite a lot of three drops now. Well, that's that's also a six drop. Oh yeah, I guess that's what I'm talking about. That's got kicker. So <laughs> um, yeah, let's put Throne of McKindy back in. and Riptide as well. Okay, this is uh, this is pretty handy, isn't it? Six mana, four, five trample. Ah, but into the Royal is there. Vanquish the Weak's very good, but uh, let's grab that one. Chilling Trap. We're pretty excited about Chilling Trap. I think that's really excellent in this kind of deck. Wow, okay. It's just going to be a deck of Cunning Gazer Mages, <laughs> apparently. Uh, when do I stop picking these? Is four enough? Yeah, that's pretty good. Tormenting voice. Another level four for the Sky Close Sentinel. Uh, if I listen to the advice I read today, um, having a big flyer just wins games in this format, so. Maybe we just grab the Skycliff Sentinel this time. But, uh, I think Tormenting Voice is what you're supposed to pick for this deck. I'll, I'll, I'll get the, uh, Okay, there's not much to pick here. Um, I don't know if I'll use a Scavenge Blade. I think, in fact, I will just put it in the sideboard. Inordinate Rage is pretty good. I could build my party with a cleric. Yeah, I 
think the danger with this kind of deck, I end up having very few creatures. Right, apparently we've got two warriors, seven wizards so far. I think I'll go for the cleric. Oh, that's a rogue. Nice. And we get the tuck tuck rubble fort in the end. I think we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just pop the rubble fort into the sideboard for the moment. We'll just go. We're going to go ahead and grab that. Grab. Ooh, very nice. A rare a red card. As long as there are four or more instants and sorceries, it becomes a four-four. Great. So it's um, it's basically card advantage. Dis well, not card advantage. Discard a card. Exile the top two. Choose one of them. You can play that this turn. So yeah, you can drop drop lands late game and uh, turn them into something useful. So yeah, we definitely pick that. Ooh, relic robber, goblin, rogue. Oh yeah, this guy makes the goblin construct that pings your opponent. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sweet. Somebody used that against me to great effect. I actually died to the uh, the pings from the uh, artifact tokens. That's nice as well, of course, four damage. And roll eruption. It's a pretty good pack. <laughs> Hopefully something else will be Oh, look, Fireblade Charger. And he's a warrior, which is quite... Andy. Yeah, maybe not that one. Risen Riptide, Spell Shell Shield. It's a cheap warrior. Maybe we're caring more about party mechanic at the moment than kicker. Interesting, so that, that's a warrior payoff card. It's also inordinate rage. goes nicely with our Fireblade Charger, so let's pick that one. Right, Bane, uh, Bane Veil. Yeah, that can get you out of a jam. And save you some damage. Pretty good. Oh, here we go. This is a kick payoff. I think... And it's a big flyer. It's a 4-4 flyer. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it has to be that one. We haven't got much removal at all. Right, that can let you bounce a land to do two damage directly. Doesn't seem that exciting. Ah, oh, yeah, Tazim Royal Mage. Yeah, that seems. That, that's one of the guys I'm looking for. Bubble Snare is some nice removal. But yeah, I can't.
can't see the old, the old mage, that's sort of just good value. So it looks like our removal might be these um, combat tricks. Let's see how we're doing for the creatures. We've got 20 creatures to choose from. Okay, yeah, another in Northern Rage one. Ah, Shell Shield has, co has uh, come around. Cleric. We have ten wizards, three warriors, two rogues. We could get another cleric there. Glacial grasp is definitely quite good as well. But I guess we don't have a shell shield yet. So let's let's grab that and see if that's any good. Inordinate Rage helps me trade up as well, I suppose. We get this uh, guy. It's, yeah, it's another party payoff. I think. How many instants and sorceries have we got to choose from? Eight instants, one sorcery. Let's go for the wizard. Another rogue or another instant. Amulet is the one, is the build around card here. So I'll go for Deliberate. that end of part one. I'll, s I'll sort this out and get back to it later. Alright, see you then.